Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Technically, it's actually not even the new year for me. I'm recording this at 9 p.m. on December 31st, but it's going to be the new year when this video goes live. So Happy New Year. I hope you guys enjoyed 2023. I know I did. It was a pretty damn good year, if I do say so myself, except I sold my 350Z in 2023. So never mind. That was a pretty that was a pretty bad part of the year. So that part sucked. But hopefully this year is even better for everybody out there. I hope this year is nothing but smooth sailing. You know, just just the best year you could ever possibly ask for. 2024. That's gotta mean something, right? It's gotta mean something. So praying, praying to God. But today we're gonna start off the year going a little slow. We're gonna start off the year a little slow. We're gonna be doing the top ten best reliable sedans for under three thousand dollars i was gonna say most reliable sedans for the 3k but that is definitely not the case but these are sedans that are reliable yet still somewhat fun or cool for the average for the car guy in us all you know what i mean but without further ado let's get right into the list with number 10 and again guys happy new year i hope you guys have a great year mm. Alrighty, 10th place is a subaru legacy fourth generation notice i did not say gt fourth generation because if i said legacy gt then i wouldn't really be sticking to the under 3k part because the legacy gt is kind of a little bit over 3k but the regular base model legacy is still a really good option man and it's under the three thousand dollar mark now it comes with the very iconic subaru motor at this point the 2.5 liter flat four making the 165 horsepower and it's all-wheel drive this motor's been in a ridiculous amount of subarus imprezas foresters legacies obviously just about everything this exact motor has been in them and they have stood up to the test of time now since these are naturally aspirated flat fours from subi i do not and I do, I repeat, I do not recommend boosting them. Because once you boost them, naturally aspirated Subi motor, them bad boys like to go kaboom. They join ISIS. It's a bad time. So just don't boost it. Just keep it naturally aspirated. Have a nice little daily. Ninth place is going to the Volkswagen Jetta Mark IV. Now there is a lot of Jettas that you can find. Uh-oh hair in my mouth there are a lot of jettas you could find for less than three thousand dollars mark four mark five mark three honestly sometimes even mark six i've seen a couple mark sixes sitting under 3k now um but the mark four is the one i'm gonna go with because a i like how it looks and b is the one that makes most sense it comes with a 1.8 liter in line four making 115 horsepower and it's front wheel drive but honestly don't let that fool you i was i was kind of trying to yank your dick off there a little bit because there's a lot of different motor options for the mark four jettas they came with there's a tdi version there's a version that came with the gti's motor there's a lot of engines for the mark IV jetta so honestly you could get whatever and they're all pretty reliable the best one is the tdi if you could find a mark IV jetta tdi get that i had a friend named zach he had a freaking Volkswagen Jetta TDI and it had close to 300,000 miles on it and it was golden. I, it was like it was like it was brand new. I don't know how they did it. Coming in at the number eight spot is the first, but definitely not the last because the Honda of this list with the Honda Accord seventh generation. Again, just like we talked about with the Jetta before, a lot of different Honda Accord generations are really reliable cars for less than $3,000. Sixth gen, seventh gen, eighth gen, fifth gen, fourth gen, all are pretty decent options for less than 3K, but I chose the seventh gen. It comes with a three liter V6 making 255 horsepower and it is front wheel drive. Now, however, that is the V6 option, duh, I said V6. So it is going to be a little bit more expensive than the inline four. And so if you really just want to play it really safe, just go with the inline four. The inline four is more reliable. The only reason why I included the V6 here is because it's a little bit more fun. I mean, 255 horsepower in a Honda. Come on, come on, Jerry. Jerry, stop that. It's, it, they also look pretty good, in my opinion. I think a lot of people misunderstand the looks of Accords. I think they're always like, oh my god, you're so boring. Uh, yeah, if you don't have eyeballs. Seventh place is going to a car that's a little bit of a little bit of an oddball. Not not an oddball because it's not reliable, but an oddball because it's going to be hard to find under 3K. The Toyota Corolla S. For some reason, these Toyota Corolla S's have kind of gone up in price recently. I gotta be 100% honest, I don't know why, but because of that, they are a little bit hard to find on the 3K nowadays, but it still can be done. Uh, they come with a 1.8 liter inline four, making 132 horsepower in its front wheel drive. It's pretty much just a regular Corolla, guys, okay? The S is there because it, it stands for scam okay that's 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 what the s stands for no but seriously it did get like bigger wheels it has an aero package on it i think it has better suspension and things like that but everything else the parts that actually matter especially when it comes to rel reliability of the car are exactly the same as a regular toyota corolla you're buying a corolla that looks better and it's a corolla like they're one of the most reliable cars ever you don't even need oil obviously that's not actual legal advice do not put do not make sure you have oil in your car but i'm just saying you know there's a possibility that you could put butter in there and it would run 
All right, I just fought with that hair in my mouth that happened at the Volkswagen Jetta entry. I just fought with that for like five minutes. It was the most elusive hair on planet Earth. But number six is the Audi A4 B7. I have, a, I have, oh my God, I have recommended the Audi A4 B7 in so many of my videos, and I haven't gotten a single hate comment on it yet. And that's that, that's a good, that's gotta be a world record because I get hate comments left and right. So it's freaking, th it must be good. It comes with a two liter turbocharged inline four, making 200 horsepower flat in its front wheel drive now there are all-wheel drive options and you could probably find an all-wheel drive one for under the 3k as well if you want so there you go but either way even if you get the front wheel drive one it's still just a good a good deal the, the only real reason why you would want a all-wheel drive one is if you live somewhere where winter is an issue but if you don't get the front wheel drive you're gonna save gas money it's gonna be so much of a better option for you Coming in at fifth place is one of the most underrated cars in the world, in my opinion, the Honda Civic 8th generation. Civics do this thing where they like start out pretty expensive, obviously, because they're brand new, and then they depreciate faster than you could say, but you know, they, they, they depreciate that fast, and then they come back up. But the 8th gen Civic is sitting in that spot right now where they just depreciated, and they're at like their lowest point, and they're a bargain. They come with a 1.8 liter inline four, making 140 horsepower in their front wheel drive. I genuinely believe that give it like five years, and the 8th gen Civics are going to be talked about all the time. They're going to be like the 6th gen Civics, the 5th gen Civics, because they look good. Like they do look good. They, they're really, I think they're good looking cars. And I think most people would agree with me on that. And so, and they have good motors in them. If you get the SI, it has a K series in it. Okay. Like they're going to be valuable someday. So get them now while they're still cheap because these things are ch 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 cheap right now. You can find like one with like 70,000 miles for under 3K. And that's an insane deal. It's a Civic. It is going to last you for 5 million years. Fourth place, however, I can't believe I'm putting two Subarus on a list about reliable sedans, but it's happening, man. It's the Subaru Impreza 2.5 Hawkeye. Now, notice, friend, I did not say WRX because, first of all, you're not finding WRX is under $3,000, and if you do, that is not going to be a reliable car. So just get the regular Impreza. It comes with the same motor as a Legacy before, a 2.5 liter flat four, making 165 horsepower in its all-wheel drive, of course. Uh, the reason why it's so much higher than Legacy is simply the looks, man. Imprezas have such a wider platform for aftermarket support. They're a little bit lighter. There are so many people out there that have Imprezas over Legacies, and they just look better, okay? Like, I, I gotta be honest, okay? I like the Legacies. I mean, I think they look great, and I think they're very underrated cars, but the Imprezas are just a little bit better so i'm going to put this one a little bit higher but pretty much it's exactly the same as the legacy if you really don't care or if you like the legacy better go with that third place is a car that i'm going to admit i'm taking i'm, I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark here the bmw 328i e90 now there are a lot of people out there that still believe that every bmw ever made is incredibly unreliable but i feel like for the most part nowadays like 90 percent of the car community has come around to the fact that base model bmws are decent daily drivers you know what i mean so I, i'm putting it here it comes with a three liter turbocharged inline six making 230 horsepower in its rear wheel drive slash all-wheel drive obviously every any time you add forced induction to a car it's automatically going to make it slightly more unreliable it's just kind of how things work because now you got the engine but you have another thing that you also have to worry about with the engine so it's it's, it's obviously going to be a little bit more sketchy than just a naturally aspirated car but i think the return that you get on having a bmw which has a nice interior a comfy ride and looks good and it's kind of sporty even in the base models is worth that little bit of stress that you might have to deal with they're still incredibly reliable cars though like it's not even you're not even going to notice the difference second place second place however is going to the nissan maxima fifth generation i never i don't talk about maximas enough on this channel i was doing some research for this video and i saw freaking nissan maxima on google images and i was like gosh diddly darn those things are so much cooler than i give them credit for and so here we go we're talking about a maxima today and it's the fifth gen i like this one i thought it looked really cool comes with a three liter v6 making 222 horsepower in its front wheel drive that's honestly very impressive and yes it's a v6 from nissan and so you know we haven't had the best luck with that but honestly man name a v6 from the, like the vq is obviously the one that comes to your mind right like that's the obvious v6 that nissan built back in the early 2000s that was a good car this car has the vg in it i'm pretty sure at least i think that's the vg which is a 300 zx motor and yes it, it, it's a little bit big it's a big motor but they weren't unreliable you know people weren't like bashing the 300 zx for being unreliable they were bashing it for having such a tight engine bay um and so it's honestly probably pretty damn good now admittedly yes i don't know much about this car i'm gonna say that right out the gate but i'm gonna wager that this is a really reliable car honorable mention you thought <laughs> you silly you silly goofy goober you thought there was only gonna be 10 you idiot 
There's 11, because there's an honorable mention. The Nissan Sentra B15. Uh, uh, uh. I chose this car all the time in Need for Speed Underground. I loved it back then. It was so, such a sick little tuner. Now I've kind of grown up grown up a little bit, and I don't really like it that much anymore. But back then, it was awesome. It comes with a 2-liter inline 4, making 140 horsepower in its front-wheel drive. It is as basic as it can get. It's just an inline 4 Nissan that is front-wheel drive. It's reliable. It's going to get the job done, and it looks kind of cool doing it. But first place, if you have ever even heard of the name Mark Roden, then you knew that this was going to be first place because I constantly preach to the choir that this is an incredibly reliable, best option for a daily driver out there right now. It is the Acura TL third generation. It is just, it is too hard to beat this car, man. I, you can't do it. You just can't do it. I'm slapping my face right now, but you guys can't see that because I'm frustrated that people think they can do it. It comes with a 3.2 liter V6, making 258 horsepower in its front wheel drive. Obviously, I'm not going to lie to you. V6s, we've talked about it already in this video, but I'm going to talk about it again, are slightly more unreliable than an inline four. But uh oh, what's that? Oh, what's, what's that? You could get an inline four Acura TL if you wanted to, if you were boring. Go for it. Get the inline four, I don't care. But either way, it is an apps the 3.2 liter V6 is still incredibly reliable. And, and on top of that, you have tons of fun at your fingertips. You have a 260 horsepower Honda that's reliable as hell and looks sporty and is comfortable and is luxurious for three thousand dollars these cars are such a good deal but ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's video of the top 10 most reliable not most i keep saying most best reliable sedans for under three thousand dollars uh again there are probably like you could just get a camry you know you, you could just get a corolla like a base model corolla for under 3k nowadays that's probably the most realistic option for you out there a civic you know an accord but we have a civic and an accord on this list actually but still you you could you, you could definitely find some like better options i guess you could say if you're looking for just reliability uh, uh that aren't on this list but that's not really what this list is for it, it is obviously for reliability that's why i named the list top 10 reliable sedans but on top of that it's for car guys that want something reliable because car guys know that even if they buy the most reliable car in the world they're not going to be satisfied unless it's somewhat cool you know what i mean we have to have something that's somewhat cool that we can have a little bit of fun in because otherwise we're not going to drive it. <laughs> it doesn't matter how reliable it is because it's going to be sitting in, a, in, in our driveway the whole time. We're going to be driving our project cars because we want to have a little bit of fun. So all these cars are not only incredibly reliable, like they're top of the line reliability, but they're also pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Happy New Year again. I hope that you guys have an incredible freaking year. You guys are the ones that make my year so incredible. So as long as you guys still exist, my year will be incredible. So thank you guys again for a great 2020. 2023 and here's to 2024 are we going to reach 100,000 subscribers by 2024 most likely which is insane to say we're at 93,200 i think right now so we need 6,800 more subscribers and then we're at 100,000 mind-blowing guys thank you guys so much i appreciate that insanely uh and again have a nice year das Vidanya, and have a nice night i've already said have a nice year long enough so das Vidanya, and have a nice night.